After two days of heavy restrictions in most of the country, Prime Minister Narendra Modi spelt out the situation facing all 1.3 billion Indians. Listen carefully. The whole country, from today 12 midnight, the entire country, it will be in a complete lockdown in order to save India, in order to save the citizens of India and to save yourself, save you and your family. Today at 12 midnight, there will be a total ban of venturing out of your homes. Every state, every territory, every district, every village, every locality is being put on lockdown. Modi said that was the only way to stop the spread of the virus. But even before the Prime Minister's announcement, police were out enforcing the lockdown around the country. In the capital, New Delhi, police dismantled all the protest sites against the government's citizenship law, including in Shaheen Bagh. People had been gathering there for 100 days to show their opposition to the legislation which fast-tracks citizenship to minorities from three neighboring countries but excludes Muslims. Five women were sitting there. Nobody else was sitting. They deceived them and damaged the protest site. The people of Shaheen Bar are very angry because of this. There is the issue of coronavirus. We are supporting the measures, but the women who the police have detained should be released. Police detained nine people after banning groups of more than four people gathering. This is a very dangerous environment because of coronavirus and some troublemakers are trying to create problems. But we detained them and took actions to clear the protest site. But some people who were out buying groceries say they were attacked by police. We came to buy vegetables at about 5 or 6 o'clock, but police chased us off with batons. There is this disease, and we accept that there is this disease, and the lockdown is necessary, I agree. But there will be a time when people don't have food to eat. If they don't let us buy vegetables, then how will we eat? The transportation of essential goods will continue, but all passenger flights, trains, buses, metros and taxis have been ordered to stop their services. Despite Prime Minister Modi saying people will still be allowed to go out to buy essential supplies, people have rushed to grocery stores around the country uncertain of what the next three weeks will bring. And while Modi announced the government will spend over $2 billion on health care to fight the virus, millions of the country's poor who've lost their livelihoods are still waiting to hear how the government will help them. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.